What is Cronkite Canada Syndrome and how is it diagnosed in clinical practice? Cronkite Canada Syndrome CCS, is a rare, non-hereditary gastrointestinal disorder characterized by alopecia, nail dystrophy, hyperpigmentation, and multiple intestinal polyposis. First described in 1955, its etiology remains unknown. It presents with a specific cluster of symptoms that require immediate attention for proper diagnosis and treatment. Five key facts doctors should know. Prevalence in demographics. Cronkite Canada syndrome is extremely rare, with only a few hundred cases reported worldwide. It most often appears in older adults, predominantly males. Diagnostic criteria. Diagnosis is complex and involves a multi-system evaluation, including endoscopy for intestinal polyposis, and dermatological assessments for alopecia and hyperpigmentation. Laboratory tests often reveal malabsorption and osteomalacia. Differential diagnosis. Conditions like putz jeggers syndrome and juvenile polyposis should be ruled out. Unlike these conditions, CCS is typically not associated with a significantly increased risk of intestinal malignancy. Clinical scenario for consideration. A 67-year-old male presents with unexplained alopecia, nail dystrophy, and skin hyperpigmentation, along with gastrointestinal symptoms like diarrhea and weight loss. Endoscopy reveals multiple intestinal polyps, raising suspicion for Cronkite Canada syndrome. Prognosis. Early diagnosis and treatment can significantly improve the quality of life. However, the long-term prognosis varies due to the idiopathic nature of the disease and its associated complications. Further information. For additional details on Cronkite Canada Syndrome, medical professionals are advised to consult peer-reviewed journals, clinical case reports, and the National Organization for Rare Disorders, NORD.